Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to a new class, English class. It's um, Wednesday, so it means that we have like um, two more days after this class, okay? So we're going to start by now. Um, I know that it has been a kind of difficult to week, especially today because of the storms, the rains, right? So, well, here we have Carly, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Did you have problems with the rain? No. No. No, no. problem. Oh, okay. No That's problem. nice. Yes, I know it's maybe it's kind of complicated sometimes. Okay. And near your house? No, no problem in no, your house. No problems. No problem. Sometimes yeah. we have we have difficulties, for example, because of the flows for las inundaciones sometimes. Okay. Mm, no. Mm -hmm. Cercano. Cercano. No, near. No. Okay, that's nice. That's wonderful. Thank you. Here we have also Christy, Roberto, Marvin, Judy, Jocelyn, Elizabeth, and Helen that is connected. But maybe she can tell us about his day. So um, remember, Carly, we're about to finish. Ya estamos por terminar. That's really, really positive. Yeah. We need we need vacations. Okay, we have also Christy. Good evening, Christy. How are you tonight? ¿Cómo estás? How are you tonight? Very good. Very good. Okay, that's nice. Well, uh, here we have some others. We're going to wait for the rest to connect. And here we have Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening. How was your day? Problems yeah. with the rain? No, no problem? Definitely no. Okay, that's good. That's really good. We have, uh, I have seen a lot of uh, accidents today and some difficulties because of the rain. And even there are some trees that has fall that have fallen, and that uh, creates more traffic and a lot of things. But well, I'm glad that you are at home, like I say in casa. But I know that some others are traveling; they are moving because of the traffic or the rain. Okay, we're going to start uh, now. Just give me a second. Here we have this. Okay, and um, today's topic is this. How to use could for polite and formal requests. We also are going to study would. Vamos a utilizar también would. Le vamos a dar una, una revisada. But in this case, we go with could. How to use could for polite and formal requests. Would, it's like very important but could it's like very polite is como para sonar muy amable el, el could okay so for remember we are talking about formal requests ¿verdad? Que, que son peticiones cuando decimos requests significan peticiones verdad entonces es para eso para solicitar cosas but before we go to this and uh, we're going to start with the question and then we're going to check the attendance list. Uh, I know that you like movies. I don't know what's your favorite genre. No sé cuál es su género favorito. Maybe comedy, action, fiction, drama, romantic movies. Maybe it could it be suspense, horror movies. Okay, there are a, a lot of uh, categories that we, we like. Maybe we don't have a favorite genre, but we have like certain type of movies that we we like, okay? But we also have books. I don't know if you like to read uh, very often, but books are better than movies. But depends on, on you, on your time, depends on, on your uh, pastime, 
or in your free time, definitely. So let's talk about this. Which character, qué personaje de libros o películas te gustaría ser and why? So we have like different characters. I have, in my case, I would like to be like two or three that I really like, but I guess you have more. Let's talk about one, okay? We start with Marvin. Are you ready with your character? Yes, teacher. Okay, which one? Okay, El Guerrero Aquiles. Oh, yes. Okay. Sí. Yes, from Iliada or from Troy, because there is a movie and there is a book, right? Yes, así es. Yes. Uh, it was the most famous and important Greek, Greek era of the Troy war. And the qualify is the world with life is the fastest. Yeah, and even he was undefeatable. Defeat is eh, como derrotar, ¿verdad? Undefeatable era como invencible. Defeat es vencer, derrotar. But he was very strong. He had one weakness. Tenía una debilidad, okay? That it was eh, his uncle, no uncle, ¿verdad? Tenemos uncle, que es tío, pero si es uncle... Ok, en ese caso significa tobillo, ok. So, el talón, yes, it's a very famous uh, phrase, right? Talón de Aquiles, so, mm -hmm. well, that's it, yes. I, uh, that's a really good book and a really good movie. Thank you, Marvin. Here we have also Carly and then Christy, ok, Carly. Tell us about your uh, character. Okay, teacher, I would like to be the invisible woman. To oh. go in, to go on a ties when there are problems and to be able to go to places that are difficult to go normally. Yes, and that, that's really good. That is one of the best superpowers, if you notice. Even if you have that superpower, maybe you can notice uh, when people talk uh, bad things about you. Imagine, imagine. Okay, so. That's really interesting. But okay, Invisible Woman. Is that a movie or a book? Because I maybe I have an idea, but I don't remember very well. Um, movie. It's okay. A movie. It's a movie, okay. Interesting. But it, it is from the Fantastic Four, the Cuatro Fantastico, or is it another? A different? Um, okay, sí. Okay, Creo nice. Que okay, that's, that's really good. Okay, and let's see. Um, we're going to listen to Christy. Okay, Christy, tell us about your superhero. Okay. Uh, I like how he uh, in, in the movies, Megan Ria. Ah, okay. Do you remember any specific movie? ¿Te recuerdas de alguna película específica? Um, no sé si la inglés, pero... Yes, eh, oh, dile en español. Un ángel enamorado con Nicolás Cage. Ah, City, eh, City ah. of Angels, sí, <laughs> se llama Ciudad de Ángeles, but uh -huh. in Spanish is different. Mm -hmm. Yes, sí. Okay. Okay, just give me a minute. Okay, um, here we have some others. Uh, what about uh, Roberto? Are you ready with your answer? Yeah, teacher. Okay, tell us about uh, your character. Okay, I would like to be character called uh, Jason Statham ah, because okay. I like action movies. Besides this, uh, that, I would like to be able to create different char characters with the same abilities uh, of the character, either romantic, among other movies. Okay, yes, that's nice. And I have seen that that uh, this actor has really good action movies, really good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, I know, yes. 
Okay, that, that's perfect. And thank you. What about if we listen now to Ellie? Are you there, Elizabeth? And then Judith. Okay, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Um, Elastic Girl or oh, Wonder from, Woman? <laughs> okay, Elastic Girl from Incredibles. Yes, a really good, good uh, character. She's very intelligent, even. And what is the other you mentioned? Wonder Woman. Wonder mm -hmm. Woman. Okay. What? Which one do you prefer? What prefers? Elastic Girl. <laughs> okay. Let's, why Elastic Girl? Because uh, she she's elastic, or why? Or because she, she has a family? Porque tiene familia, or why? Mm. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, say that she's really intelligent because uh, she's more intelligent than Mr. Incredible. Really nice, Ellie. Okay, what about Judith? Are you there? Good evening. Good Wonder evening, Woman. Judith. Wonder Woman, okay. Do you have a specific reason? Uh, because it's... A super heroine, how do you say? Yeah, heroine. Mm -hmm. Super heroine who has super human powers and okay. abilities de combat. Yes, combat abilities. Yes, she has even a lot of abilities. Yes, and really good. Yes, Wonder Woman. Vaya, podría hacer un cosplay. Yes, okay, for the next class. With your superpowers, really good. I like the series, but especially the, the, the last movies, really good. Thank you, uh, Judith. We go now with just two more. We listen to Iris. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Are you ready with your opinion about this? Which character? No. Oh, you don't like it. <laughs> give me a minute. Okay, I'm going to give you a minute. Okay. What about, uh, let me see. Kati, are you there? Yes. Okay, Kati, let's do it. Um, Wonder Woman. Okay, Wonder Woman. Do you have any specific reason? And since she's woman who stand out, her strength and determination. Yeah, yeah. She she's really strong. She has strength, determination, and she helps people a lot. Good. Okay, thank you. Now let's uh, move. We're going to continue with this question later. Here we have this ways to say llamar la atención. But when we say llamar la atención, it's something that it is interesting for you. Something that maybe you want to talk about it because it is really, it, it seems good for you. Algo que le llama la atención. Algo que es interesante. Algo que ustedes consideran que bueno. Podría ser, it could be from a conversation, from a movie, from a book, from a text, from news, de las noticias, from some videos, audios, the class, from your work, from wherever, donde sea. Okay, so here we have ways to say, llamar la atención. Number one, we, what got my attention was, what got, got, no got, what got my attention was, what caught my eye was, what caught my eye was, what drew my attention was, what drew my attention was, what struck me was, what struck me was, and the other, what stuck out to me was, what stuck out to me was. So in the first one, lo que, lo que, man, lo que me llamó la atención podría ser, La otra es what caught, lo que me atrapó o, o lo, que me, lo, que, lo que me atrapó, digamos, la vista, la cuestión auditiva, aunque diga ojo, pero se trata de eso, lo que cautivó tu atención fue 
what drew my attention is another. Drew es el pasado de draw, que es dibujar. But the same, what struck me was lo que me, 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 me casi como que te congela, te mantiene quieto. What stuck out to me was, okay? So I'm going to call everyone for checking the attendance list. So you say hi, good evening, hello. And mention one of these ways to say, llamar la atención. Como siempre les digo, eh, pueden copiarlos todas y pueden elegir o subrear o, o pueden hacer highlights, marcar con, con, con highlighter. Algunas que posiblemente puedan usar alguna vez. Ok, Eli, good evening. Good evening. Thank you, Flor. Are you there? Okay, we don't have floor, but we Francisco. Either Francisco. Okay. Um, Gabriel. We don't have Gabriel. Um, Iris. No. Oh. Okay, thank you. Helen, I guess she's connected, but she has problems to answer. And here we have Juan, no Juan, Judith. Hello. Hello there. Ivania, maybe she's moving. Creo que ya va. Hi, teacher. Hello, at home, Ivania. Yes, you can. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Carly. Good evening. Good evening, Kathy. Good evening. Hello, David. I don't know if David is there. Okay, let's listen to Marvin. Good evening. Good evening. And Fabricio. Good evening. Hello there. And Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. We go with Patty. Okay, we don't have Patty by the moment. And um, Christy. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, William. Jocelyn is moving. Jocelyn parece que, que va de camino. And Aneris, I don't know if we have Aneris here. No, okay. Before we start, let me show you something that we were taking yesterday. Teacher, ¿crees que puede poner otro momentito en la pantalla lo que estaba ahí para tomarle foto? Ok. Por favor. Ok, here we have. Gracias, thank you. Ok, you're welcome. And yesterday we heard Escuchamos que nos traían una uh, exposición, Fabricio, con estadísticas, con, con todo eso de la digestión y todo eso. Right, Fabricio? Uh, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not ready. What do you think? Should Salvador have bird control? Give me five minutes, please. <laughs> really? Okay, five minutes. Ok, no problema, porque dijo, vamos a comenzar con todo, dijo, ah, yo voy a dar la sí, clase. Se me, se me escapó. Voy a dar la clase, y, y fíjate que no me acordaba, pero ahí vi que estaba anotado, y Judith me hizo señas. Fabricio, me... ok, yes. Ah, That's right. ah, quieren, broma, broma. Ok, by the moment, uh, well, we're going to have a short practice, mientras los demás se conectan, about the wood. Um, antes que nada quiero decir esto y lo voy a decir dos veces durante esta clase creo que han recibido un correo, si no lo han recibido lo van a recibir mañana eh, con información acerca de una encuesta necesito que me pongan un, un emoji con la manita arriba o cualquier emoji en la esquina quienes sí han recibido ese correo please Marvin, Judith quién más Jocelyn, thank you. ¿Alguien más? Ok. Carl, eh, Elizabeth, Fabricio, okay, Carly, Katy. Good. Eh, no sé si Iris lo ha recibido. Iris. 
Ok, dice que cree que no, pero no revisa. Ok. Voy a el mío ahorita a ti. Vaya, uh -huh. y a Neri saber si lo ha recibido. Esa encuesta, vaya, son, ok, Cristi, son dos encuestas que van a hacer. Una es sobre la evaluación docente, eh, específicamente evaluación de, de, del, del facilitador, del instructor que soy yo en este curso. La otra es acerca de, pues, se le llama encuesta de satisfacción final. Final. Esa encuesta la vamos a hacer el día viernes, porque es el último día de clases, ¿ok? Entonces, no pueden hacerla antes, porque podríamos tener dificultades. Solo eh, se puede hacer una vez esa encuesta, ¿verdad? Y la vamos a hacer este, con la clase, ¿ok? Vamos a ir paso por paso, que nos tardemos un par de minutos, pero la vamos a hacer juntos. En ese, no la van a hacer antes ni después, tiene que ser juntos, porque igual dejamos ahí justificado de que han hecho la encuesta. Entonces, recuerden, hay ciertos requisitos para pasar el curso, para probarlo. Que asistan a, a las conexiones de clases, que hagan las tareas, que participen, que hagan las evaluaciones como eso es el midterm y el examen final y hacer la encuesta. Con esos eh, requisitos que yo creo que la mayoría ya hizo el ex, hasta el examen final, han hecho algunos, he visto. O sea, que bueno, no, hay algunos que solo llevan 10, ¿ok? Si llevan 8 o 9, no problem, porque de, de 8 para arriba, pues, o de 80%, es muy bueno. Ahora, la encuesta la vamos a hacer el viernes. Lo voy a repetir el último, eh, cuando ya vamos a terminar, porque yo sé que algunos se emocionan y la hacen. No es difícil hacer esa, ¿cómo se llama? Esa encuesta es súper fácil, pero no solicitan, ¿verdad? Como, como equipo de, facilit de facilitadores que la hagamos en la, en, la, en la última clase, ¿verdad? Espero que nadie la haya hecho, ¿verdad? Igual pasó con el curso anterior, ¿verdad, Cristi? ¿La hicieron el último día de clases? ¿Verdad, Fabricio? Sí, el Chido? último día la hicimos. Uh -huh. eso va a pasar igual, así van a ser todos los cursos, ok así que pues eso nada más um, this case, vamos a ver eh, como lo, lo he mencionado es posible que ahora o mañana van a recibir esa información ahora, si la reciben o si no mañana, es, pero ya vamos a revisar eso hay alguien que ha recibido esa información en, en su whatsapp que levante el dedito del emoji. Teacher, yo no la recibí en correo, solo en WhatsApp. Ok, Carly, solo en WhatsApp. Bien, Patricia dice que en WhatsApp. Yo en WhatsApp, ¿Qué? teacher. Sí, Elizabeth, sí, sí. Sí, en yeah. WhatsApp yo. Vaya, ah, ya. Ok, Marvin también en WhatsApp. Bueno, excelente. Así que pues, eh, hay algunos que la reciben en correo, otros en WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Este, si tienen, por ejemplo, bueno, vamos... Si tienen todos los datos, excelente. Y si no, yo les voy a estar ayudando, les voy a estar dando los datos, ¿verdad? Si ustedes, si les hace falta un dato, por ejemplo, um, aparece el nombre de la empresa. Un claro ejemplo, el ejemplo que siempre damos. Este, ah, Judith la recibió por WhatsApp, dice Judith, y también una recarga. Bien, Judith, excelente. Perfect. Ok, este, sí recibe, bueno, algunos solo conocen el nombre de la empresa comercial, no su razón social. La razón social es el nombre con el que están registrados. Por ejemplo, eh, la Curazao, ¿verdad? No, el nombre, la razón social, la razón social es, eh, quiero ver, Unicomer, Unicomer SADCB. ¿Ok? Así es, Unicomer. Así que los que trabajan en la Curazao, que nadie de ustedes trabaja en la Curazao, ¿verdad? Si no, ya le hubiéramos pedido crédito. Ellos... No, en esa encuesta no van a escribir Curazao o Curacao, van a escribir Unicomer SABCB. That's the point, ese es el punto, la razón social. Pero si quieren, el viernes yo puedo corroborar los nombres de sus empresas, de, para las que trabajan, y yo les puedo ayudar para que no haya ningún problema, ¿ok? That's it, me dice, yo también la tengo por WhatsApp. Ok, Roberto. Sí, yo creo que la mayoría eh, es, es por, por... Ah, le puse yo Selin. Bueno, Roberto, sí, yo creo que la mayoría les ha llegado por WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Entonces, 
guarden ese mensaje o tómenle captura, o, ¿verdad? No los archiven, no los dejen, bueno, sí déjenlos en visto, ¿verdad? Pero lo que me refiero es que si tengan esa información, we're going to use it, lo vamos a utilizar. Ok, my dear friends, vamos a trabajar un poco acá con, let me see, conversation three and four. En este caso, recordemos que would, ¿verdad? No se dice would, ¿verdad? Sino que would. Tenemos, está bien sencilla esta conversación. Where would you like to live in the future? I'd like to live in the country. What would you do? I'd have a farm. What? That would be fun. Yeah, I want to plant my own food. ¿Dónde te gustaría vivir en el futuro? Me gustaría vivir en, la, en el campo. Country es zona rural o campo. Ah, ¿Qué harías? Tendría una granja. Ah, eso sería divertido. Sí. Quiero plantar mi propia comida. Ok. Number four. What would you like to drink? ¿Qué te gustaría beber? I'd like an iced tea, please. Do you want sugar with that? No, but I'd like some lemon. Would you like a straw? No, thanks. Eh, ¿Qué te gustaría beber? Y como todos ustedes responderían, me gustaría beberte helado, por favor. ¿Quieres azúcar en eso o con, con, con el té? No, pero me gustaría algo de limón. ¿Quién pide limón, verdad? Eh, would you like straw? Esta palabra, si quiere, anótenla. Straw significa pajilla. Eh, it is it's a word that was difficult for me year by year. Siempre se me olvidaba por años. No sé por qué, no se me quedaba straw. Y la repetía muchas veces. No thanks. Ok. And here we have future country fun. Fun, como decir, cuando decimos fun, nos referimos a ventilador, pero también significa mmm, cuando eres fan de un actor, de un futbolista, cuando eres, te olvido la palabra en español, cuando eres aficionado. Cuando, ¿verdad? Te, te gusta algún equipo, whatever, fan. Es, y también significa ventilador, pero sí se pronuncia también, fan. Y este es aun, aun, ¿ok? Ice tea, sugar, como sugar daddy. Y aquí, straw, ¿verdad? Que es este pajilla, ¿ok? Future country, country, fan, aun. ¿Ok? Eh, let's see, eh, Marvin. Can you help us with the, uh, let's check, oh yes. Ok, eh, en detalle, Cristi, no te han enviado la, la encuesta entonces, ¿verdad? ¿Ya revisaste con el correo que está registrado, ni, ni WhatsApp, nada? Se acabo de revisar el correo, el WhatsApp como todo el día paso ahí con el WhatsApp y los correos. Ok, no, no no. No. Bueno, pero vamos a ver, no te preocupes, porque esa, esa información te la pueden enviar. Okay, my friends, uh, check the conversation. Eh, revisen la conversación ahorita porque este, a veces para ir un poquito más, ir un poquito más uh, adelantado, okay? And here we have list. Show significa pajilla. Okay, my friends. Bien, los veo en un momento solo. Aneris, ¿qué are you at home? ¿Estás en casa, Aneris? Ok, maybe yes, maybe no. Sí. Ok. Vaya, pues, entonces acá también te ponemos a... Permítame. Okay, let's see. See you in a couple of seconds.
Ok, you finish really fast, terminaron bastante rápido. Ok, Judith and Marvin. Ok, hello. Hello. Let's listen to some of your excellent pronunciation. Sé que están más que listos. Conversation three or four. ¿Qué le hay a ti? Vaya, ladies first. Vamos, Judith, tú tienes el poder ahora. Empoderamiento. Four. Okay. Show time. Okay. Uh, what would you like to drink? I would like an iced tea, please. Do you want sugar with that? I like some lemon. Would you like how strong? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Really nice. Okay, now let's listen to some other. What about Carly, who was your classmate? Thank you, Judith. Elizabeth. Thank you, Marvin. Elizabeth. Mm, se juntaron dos. <laughs> dos estudiantes. Ya sabía yo que aplicadas. esto iba a pasar. <laughs> estudiantes aplicadas. Aplicadas. Menos mal lo practicamos, ¿verdad? Acaba. <laughs> okay. okay. Where would you like to live in the future? I like to live in the country. What would you do? I have a farm. That would be fun. Yeah, I want to plan my outfit. Perfect, really good, ya ven, se no se prepararon por gusto. Okay, my friends, we continue now with, vamos a ir terminando casi con este tema del wood. Eh, aquí tenemos esto, easy. Uh, how to use would like to. ¿Cómo utilizar esto? Ya lo sabemos. Use would like to say what you want, especially when making offers or requests. Cuando hacemos ofertas o solicitudes. Here we have singular. Uh, can you help me please? Or could you help me please, Fabricio? With uh, singulars. Two sentences for singular. All right. She would like to send the report today. He'd like to meet the new employees tonight. Perfect, really good, thank you. Okay, what about Roberto? Plural, two sentences, please. Okay. Uh, they would like to speak to a, a supervisor. We'll like to ship the container tomorrow. Okay, supervisor. Mm -hmm. That's but really good. So here we have singular and plural. She, he, pero en plural, igual they, we, pero siempre se utiliza el word. No cambia nada. Easy peasy. Y como ustedes también ya saben, este, que para los... Vamos a tener worksheet, vamos a tener un trabajo, bueno, un par de ejercicios. Um, I'm going to present the chart, el cuadro que les mostré el día de ayer. Y de hecho algunos me dijeron que creo que tuvieron problemas de conexión en ese momento. Ok, here we have. Para que podamos contestar bien estos ejercicios. Here we have this. I would like a cup of tea. No lleva el to en este caso porque este, no tenemos un verbo, sino que solo estamos diciendo que queremos una taza de café. Podemos decir pizza. I would like pizza. I would like tequila. Whatever you want. Luego tenemos acá, I would like to. Aquí sí utilizamos el to porque tenemos un verbo. I would like to drink. I would like to watch TV. I would like to sleep now. Yo creo que todos quieren dormir ahora. Entonces aquí pueden utilizar el to. In the negative, igual wouldn't. ¿Verdad? En ambos. Solo que acá pues vamos a tener el to, como pueden ver, porque va un verbo. En the question, el would va al inicio. Y siempre, like a cup of tea y aquí like to drink tea. En las afirmativas, en respuesta afirmativa, yes I would, he would. Y la negativa, I wouldn't, he wouldn't, she wouldn't. Ok, easy peasy. Now, here we have some, let's see here, a ver si podemos verlas. 
Okay. Let's see. En el caso de Fabricio, ¿hasta qué número puedes ver? De la 1, from 1 to 6 or from 1 to 7? 1 to 70. 7. Ok, 17. 16. 16, sorry. 16, yes, 16. Ok, thank you. So, no here we, <laughs> you know, Miyagi. ok. Here we have this, and, and here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. We're going to select um, some literals A or B. Okay, I need you to first say the sentence and, well, the complete sentence, including the phrases in here. Okay, Fabrizio, we start with you, my friend. So tell me which one do you choose? And after Fabrizio, we're going to go with Aneris. Uh, number two. Number two, okay. Uh, B. Okay, can you would say that? You, would you like to see an action movie tomorrow night? Yes, perfect. Would you like to see an action movie tomorrow night? Le está, está invitando al cine. Bueno, no al cine, sino que a ver una película. Netflix. Okay, <laughs> part of. Okay. Bien, después de Neris va Jocelyn. <laughs> La, cara de, no. la reacción de Carla. Sí, Carly. Carly dijo, yes. De Carly, cuando dijeron Netflix. Sí, Carly, <laughs> creo que está bien actualizada. Right. Ok, we go with Aneris and then Carly. Porque está ahí riéndose de Netflix. Ok, Carly. Eh, okay. Tengo que escoger. Aneris. Ok, no entendí. Mm -hmm. Ok, veamos. Hay un par de ejercicios. Y vamos a ver qué literal A o B. Ok, number, number five. Number five. How, how, many, how many chocolate cookies you? Uh, mm. oh. uh -huh. How many chocolate chip cookies? Chip cookie. uh -huh. mm -hmm. You would like. Ok, acá hay dos palabras, would and like. Yeah. Entonces, would iría aquí. Would uh, you like. Would you like. Yes. Okay. Would you like. Thank you. Very nice. Bien, vamos con Carly o then, and then Judith. Uh, eleven. Eleven. Uh -huh. uh, would you like to drink something? Yeah. Uh, letter B. Mm -hmm. Yes. Eh, yes, I would. Thank you. Sí, me gustaría. Gracias. Ok, you did, and then we go with Marvin. Number six. Ok. Would your kids like to play the park next week? Yeah, at the park uh, next weekend. Thank you. Ok, we go with Marvin and then Christy. Number seven. Number seven. Go you like a cagotilla? Yes. Yeah. I go like. Thank you. Yes, I would like. Thank you. Yeah, easy. Okay, we go with uh, Christy. And after Christy, we go with Robert. Christy, number Fifteen. Um, yo, 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 Which restaurant would you like to go? Okay. Robert, what about you? 
And after Robert, we go with Ivania. Uh, 11. Okay, let's go with 11. Ah, 11 Ele is taken. It's taken 11. No, 12. 12. 12, okay. Um, hello, I would like to speak to Sarah, please. Yes, perfect. Hello, hello. I would like to speak to Sarah. De un solo le dice, quiero hablar con Sarah. Creo que reclamo. Okay, Ivania, and after Ivania, we go with Iris. Okay, number 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you read the complete question, please? Okay, uh, which food you like, strawberry or vanilla ice cream? Vanilla, yes. Vanilla ice cream. Vanilla, okay. Es como vanilla ice, no te acuerdas del rapero. Okay, thank you, Ivania. Yes, easy, ¿verdad? No lleva el two. And we go now with Iris. And after Iris, Elizabeth. Okay, it is not ready. Okay, um, Ellie, can you please? Fourteen. Okay, let's go with fourteen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jim said the would would like cook dinner for you this evening. Okay. Jim said uh -huh, he would like to cook dinner. Okay, nice. Thank you. We go now with Patty and then Juan. Okay, Patty, are you ready? Yeah. Please. Um, I'm number four. I'm Borrow. What what will you like? to do this weekend. Perfect, yes. Estoy aburrido, I'm bored. What would you like to do this weekend? Okay, nice. Como están aburridos, que van a Okay, we go now with Juan and then Pati. Hello, teacher. Hello there, Juan. Can you select one? Uh, it can be Number one, or it can be three, sixteen, Veamos. thirteen, thirteen, thirteen. Thirteen. Ah, thirteen. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Are you ready to order? Good, mm. good like, good like, would like to try. Porque okay. es un verbo. Try es probar o intentar. Cuando quieran probar algo, would like to try. Mm. Ah, thank perfect. You. Thank you. Very nice. Okay. And then here we have some others. Uh, Fabricio, please help us with the last ones. Para ir terminando. And after Fabricio, we go with Iris. One, three, sixteen. Okay. Um, sixteen. Okay. Um, can I help you? Yes, I would like to buy a baseball cap. 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 Mm -hmm. Now we're the baseball. Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is, please. Hello. Okay, and then Judith. Okay, it is one or three. Uh, one. Mm -hmm. I would like to travel to Spain next summer. But I don't have enough money. Enough money, pero no tengo pisto. Yes, that's <laughs> true. Thank you. Okay, Judith, time, time to shine. Number three, are you? Are you ready to order? Yes, I would like a sandwich, please. Yeah, perfect. Yes, easy peasy. Ya ven que todo es fácil. Cuando lo hacen con... Amor. Okay, we're going to check some other things before we continue with this. And here we have this. Vamos a hacerlo algo sencillo. 
Uh, the instruction says, imagine a piece of equipment at your workplace is broken. Algo se quebró, se rompió. Right? From four to five requests about it. We are going to do just two. Solo vamos a pedir dos solicitudes acerca de eso. Imagine something uh, like break down or it's broken. Algo se arruinó o algo se quebró, or something is not working anymore, algo que no está trabajando, ya no está funcionando. So, we're going to ask for help, or we can ask for requests. Podemos, podemos pedir este, solicitudes, ¿verdad? Ayuda. Using would, utilizando el would, ¿ok? So, um, would, but here we have, no tenemos más ejemplos de would acá, ya lo vamos a ver. A question, pregunta. Carly se escucha que alguien está cantando al fondo. Ok. Poquito, teacher. <laughs> ok. Uh, my neighbor is really uh, energetic. Es muy energético él. Y canta. Para él hoy es viernes, teacher. Yes, sí, sí, porque está con. Y se escuchan los cumbiones. <laughs> Bueno, ya no. Para ratitos. Del 1 al 10, ¿qué tanto? Bueno, mi voz, digamos que se escucha 9 no, o 10. Sí, 10. La música un 1, 2. O sea, no, no la puedo cantar porque no, no sé cuál es. No la bailas como Marvel. Ok, nice. No problem, no problem. Nice. Ok, and let's see. No, pero a veces pone buena música. A veces, a veces. <risa> A ver, de despecho. Estoy llorando aquí. Junto con toda la familia abrazada. Let's listen to Wood. Vamos a ver el, el Wood en preguntas. Y necesito que hagamos dos solicitudes. Two requests. Algo se arruinó. Ok. But just uh, the first mention the item. Mencioné el artículo y me dicen cómo so solicitarían ayuda para esas dos. Pa para, para ese artículo o ese ítem que se ha arruinado o se ha quebrado. Les daré un par de, un minuto, ok, think about it. Okay, let's listen to some of you and we're going to start first with um, Robert. Roberto, ¿estás listo con tu con tus oraciones? No, todavía no, teacher. Okay, let's listen to Patty. No, teacher, todavía no. Okay. Uh, Fabricio. Solo una tengo. Mm, ok, vamos con una. La que tengan todos, la que le saque el corazón. Ok. Uh, what would you like 
to pass me the fuser. Okay, yes, very functional, thank you. Okay, we go with Iris and then Christy. Tienen una, okay, Iris? Um, I would like to ask for help with my kitchen. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, Christy, not ready. No, teacher. No. Okay, no problem. Uh, Carly and then Kathy. Uh, good, good, you like change the desktop? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's it. Good. And what about Kathy and Marvin? Would you like to repair the print? Mm -hmm. Nice. It's good. Okay, Marvin, and after Marvin, we go with Ivania. Okay, Marvin. Okay, Ivania. Um, would you like to help me with the report? Okay, thank you. And Judith, and after Judith, we go with Juan. Aún no lo tengo. Okay, Juan. Not ready, teacher. Not ready. Okay, uh, Christy, and after Christy, uh, we go with Elizabeth. Would you, uh, would you like to go to the police? Mm -hmm. Very functional, yes. Nice. Teacher. Yes, Juan. Podría ser un would you like watch TV? No. No, porque estás pidiendo ayuda. Cuando Ajá. pedimos ayuda, no. No pedimos sí. para ver tele, sino que se arruinó algo. No, no, no. ¿Verdad? Y todo eso. Entonces pedimos, solicitamos. <risa> este Juan se pelea. Teacher. <risa> Y es casi igual. La estructura está bien, solo que hay que solicitar otras cosas. Good. Yes, eh, Patty, right? Sí. Would you mean if you help me, please? Mm -hmm. Would you mind if you help mind. me, please? Good. Very nice. Okay. Uh, what about uh, Roberto? Uh -huh. No, me perdí. Te perdiste en sus recuerdos. Estoy perdido, estoy perdido. Ok. Bien, vamos a ver cuál es la, la que me dijiste, Wood. Carly, would you. Would you like to change the desktop? En este caso sería solo would you change. Mm -hmm. Just change. Would okay. you change. My desktop, okay. Okay. Nice. Yeah, let's listen. Here we have some other, for example. Iris, ¿cuál fue la tuya? Eh, te escucho de lo lejos. Siempre te escucho lejos. Ok, ya vamos a ver después, no sé a qué, a qué se debe, porque últimamente había estado bien con el, con el audio, ¿verdad? Pero igual, este, vamos a ver si alguien más tiene. Ok, si no, después seguimos. Judith, ya. Yeah. yeah. Please. Would you like to help me assemble the computer? Mm -hmm. That's it, really good. And what about Ellie? Okay, would you like check my computer? Yeah, would you like check my computer? <laughs> Yes, very nice. Bien hecho. Okay, so uh, now that we have this, now let's move with uh, 
uh, this which character from books or movies um, would you like to be what about if we listen in this case to uh, Roberto and then Patty okay Roberto Pero eso ya, 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 ya estuvo. Ah, no, no, te, es cierto, no, no te lo, no te lo noté. Jason Statham, me dijiste, ¿verdad? Yeah. Algo así. Ok, sí. Patty en Fabricio. Voy. I would like to be a ghost rider. Uh, I don't, the plot or everything is born for the singing of a pax which the devil and the service and the somebody is to protect the right right tones and in the in, in evil ends of Define. Yeah, good. Uh, she mentions evil and devil. Evil es como maldad, malo, mal, algo que, que, que se refiere a eso. Y devil es el demonio. So it's an interesting character because this is like a hero, but it is like a, it is not like a normal hero, right? Very interesting. Thank you, Patty. Okay, uh, Fabricio, and then we go with Ivania. Uh, all right. Uh, in the movie, character would be a Skywalker or a Jedi for the control of the Force. And um, from the book, the false Brahman, I will be the hunter Janes, who is friend of Sandokan, leader of the Malaysian Tigers. Mm. Very interesting, the character from your book. And from Skywalker, uh, it could be Anakin or Luke Skywalker. Uh, specifically, Sea Lord Darth Vader. Ah, okay, yes, the dark, <laughs> the dark side, the dark side of the moon. No, okay, yeah, very interesting. Yes, it is one of my favorite yes. characters. <laughs> very nice. Te favorece un poco oscuro, ya lo vi. Ok, let's listen to Ivania. Then after Ivania, we go with Judith. Ok, uh, maybe I would like a Black Widow for her <laughs> ability to be a cool spy and mm -hmm. her bar bar valiosa, bar barbable. Uh -huh. Brave. Brave. Mm -hmm. Information and get paid for it. Okay. And she's really brave. And also, you can make a cosplay. Podría hacer un cosplay, Ivane, para la próxima de tarea. Yes, it, uh, it's a very interesting character. Yes, I like all uh, her appearance. Appearances in, in the... Well, in the movies. Okay, Judith, and then we go with Juan. Okay, Judith, tell us. Yeah, participate. ¿Qué no dijiste? Ah, no. Wonder Woman. Perfect. ¿Verdad? Sí. Vale, dice que también va a ser un cosplay, Judith. Yeah. And we go with Juan and Iris. No, Juan. Iris, what about you? A ver si te escuchamos. Vamos a ver. Si te escuchamos siempre lejos, eh, permíteme. Marvin, la escu escuchas a Iris. Ajá, es que se escucha a lo lejos, así. Yo no la escucho. No, ajá. Es que te escucho como que medio pronuncia algunas palabras a lo lejos. ¿Ahora? Ahora, sí. O sea, literal, tengo el micrófono en la boca. De, bueno, no sé cómo hablar, pero creo que tienes muchas habilidades, Iris. Vamos, let's do it. 
Permítame. Eh, eh. Te me fuiste otra vez, Iris. Yo creo que quizás... Mm, quizás hace falso. I don't know. Bueno, te vamos a dejar para después, ok, Iris. Vamos a dejar esta pregunta para después. Igual que la de Fabricio, que nos dijo que cinco minutos, ya pasó bastante, pero ya le vamos a preguntar. No problem. <risa> ok, vaya hoy si te escuché, mira. Ya. Yeah. Sí, cuando te reís, ok, go. <risa> Dale, ya ves. No puede ser. Vaya. Um, I would like to be mystic. From the X-Men. X-Men. Yes. He's a very interesting character. From his peculiar color to his super... Superpowers. Yes. I guess Mystic is similar to Black Widow in the, ta in the, in the sense of they are like spies. Son como espías. Um, Mystic is really powerful. Yes, very interesting. Thank you, Iris. Okay, we continue now with this. Bueno, vamos a avanzar. 50 minutos para, 50 minutos para que sean felices. Okay, let me see. Here we have this. Read about printer qualities and answer the questions below. Tenemos este, las características de una impresora. Okay. Here we have color, resolution, speed, and memory. Okay, I'm going to show you which uh, parts of this text uh, you're going to read, okay? In this case, we start with Carly. Okay, Carly, uh, let me show you. You start with color and okay. you finish until here. Right, okay. Color is important for user who need to print, uh, print, 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 pages, pages, pages. Uh, for presentation or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printer can also be said to print only in black and white. And white. Thank you. We go now with Fabricio. Okay, we go with color and we go on till here and then you did. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they are they used to in cartridge one color and uh, one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Ok, yes, pages, yes. Ok, porque page mm -hmm. es como Jimmy Page, de la guitarrista de la Zeppelin, pero aquí es pages. Ok, Judith, and after Judith, we go with Marvin. Users. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of page. Dijo que era. Mm, pages, pages. Pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to cheaper to operate. 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 Mm -hmm. Este este operate es como el otro. Tolerate. Entonces todo lo que termine en at es eight. Eh, de la operate, tolerate. Eh, yeah, sí, esa principalmente. Eight, eight. Thank you. Um, let's listen to Marvin. And after Marvin, we go with Roberto. Resolutions. Resolution. Written resolution, the, the sharpness of the image of paper. It usually measure in the per inch mm -hmm. uh, DPA. And most inexpensive printers provide sufficient. 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 Bien raro ese. Sufficient. Quiero que te quedaste congelado, Marvin, por algún superpoder. 
Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, sería sufficient, ya casi terminaba. Resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Okay, we continue now with uh, Robert Speed. Can you help us? Okay. If you do much. If you don't, if you do much printer to a speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printer print only about three to six. Uh, what about sheet? sheet? Yes, sheet. sheets. Sheets. Sheet. Per minute. Thank you. We go with Christy. Color printing. Uh, okay. Color printing is a slower, more expensive printers are much faster. Yes, thank you. We go now. Ya vamos a terminar. Solo tenemos memory. Uh, Aneris, can you help me, please? Okay. And then Kathy. Okay, the, the memory has the uh -huh. user. Okay, memory most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Thank you, Kathy. You go having. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing our page with less images or tables with lines around them uh, which mm -hmm. the printer treats as a large image thank you image yes really nice yes we're going to check just some words este que estuvimos como aquí viendo bien entonces re, regarding or related to color and uh, presentation maps uh, pages and Expensive, ya saben que es caro. Cartridges. Cartridges son los cartuchos. Ok, en color. Cheaper. Barato, más barato. Ok, resolution. Ok. Eh, sharpness. Digamos como la nitidez. Measure, medido. Ok, entonces inch es pulgada y dots es puntos. Así se mide, ¿verdad? DPI, ¿verdad? Puntos por pulgada. Esta palabra, sufficient. Ok. And here we have speed. Becomes, que es convertirse. Um, slower es más lento. Printers, much faster. Ok. Let's see. Here we have some other. Y aquí principalmente, en esta parte. Printer small memory megabyte expanded. Minimum, minimum, ¿verdad? Amount, cantidad, memory. Y creo que ahí está. Eh, vi una palabra por aquí. Ah, esta. Cuando decimos sheets, sheets con I es página. One sheet. Sheet, pero si di la, en lugar de la I utilicen la E, that's another thing. Esa es otra cosa. ¿Ok? Así que la clave es la I. Sheets, sheets, con E. Quitemos la I, ponemos la E, es otra cosa. Ok. That's perfect. We're going to check this. Here we have some questions. Ok. I will need you to help me in one of the one of the main okay volunteers for this but first one i need aneris help me with one of these questions then um, fabricio tengo que escoger una pregunta mm -hmm. Luego te pongo, i'm going to we're going to go back to the text and we're going to answer um, Sí, tu Number one. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, 
Why is color important for some users? Why is color important no. for some users? Nos vamos a mm. color. Mm -hmm. Eh, who need, mm. Ay, no sé. Mm -hmm. Color is important. Mm -hmm. For users who need to print pages for presentation or maps and okay. other pages. Mm -hmm. Where color is part of the information. Asista. So presentation or maps. That's why for some users, okay? Presentation maps, thank you. We go now with uh, Fabricio and then Marvin. One is taken, two, three, four, or five. Okay, Fabricio. Number four. Number four. Number four. Yeah. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? Mm -hmm. Que imprime bastante. Mm -hmm. What is something important? If you do much printing, the speed of printer becomes important. Yes. The speed of printer becomes important. It means uh, the speed, the time that it takes to print a lot of things because that person is going to print 100 and 100 pages. Yes, that's it. Thank you. So speed is the answer. So here we have number one and four. We have two, three, and five. Marvin and then Judith. Teacher. Sure. Yep. Eh, me sacó este de la clase. No sé en qué van. Okay. Ya vamos a dar Ahorita chances. me voy conectando. No sí. problem. Eh, estamos contestando esa, esas, bueno, esas preguntas que, con respecto al texto. Okay. Ya te voy a preguntar entonces. Okay. Okay, Judith, yo sé que tienes muchas ganas de participar, but relax. Vamos, Judith. Two, three, or five? Two. Two. Ah, yes. no, fácil. Mm -hmm. Please read it. Tú puedes. What does? What does DPI stand for? DPI stand for? Mm -hmm. What does, ¿qué significa DPI? ¿Qué significa? Vamos aquí, printer DPI, encontramos DPI. Bien, resolution. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significan esas siglas? No dijo que eran pulgadas o no sé. Yes, pero no. cada una de estas letras significa. Uh -huh. Es en dos per inch. Dots per inch. Esa es la respuesta, ¿verdad? O sea, ¿qué, qué simboliza cada una de esas letras? Dots per inch. Eh, puntos por pulgada. Ahora, cuando decimos what does, mm, déjenme ver, estoy buscando abreviaturas, siglas. Uh, ok. La palabra, la frase stand for significa eh, qué significan, pero no en tanto en significado de inglés y en español, sino que qué significan esas letras. CIFCO, Centro Internacional de Ferias y Convención. Bla, 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 bla. What does look? ¿Qué okay, Judith? What does ES stand for? ¿Qué crees? El Salvador. Ya, yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. O podemos hacer, what does USA stand for? Mm -hmm. USA, United States of America. United States. Mm -hmm. Entonces, así eh, utilizamos la, esta frase stand for, que, que la utilizamos para abreviaciones 
de ya sea espacio de cualquier letra o siglas. Entonces, cuando veamos eso, es stand for. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes, yes. Thank, you. Thank you very much, Judith. Okay, we have number one, two, four. Nos quedan three and five. Let's listen now to Elizabeth and also to Ivania. Three or four. Three. Mm -hmm. Okay, three. Why are color printer more expensive? Okay, why are color uh, printers more expensive? Mm -hmm. More expensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's color printer. Mm -hmm. Color printers. More expensive. Mm -hmm. To operate, since they use two ink cartridges. O sea que utilizan cuántos cartuchos? Dos. Yes, dos. Mm -hmm. So, why color? ¿Por qué son más caras? Porque utilizan dos. Thank you. And the last one, let's listen to. Um, I don't know if Jocelyn is ready. Or if not, we go also. We have some other options here. Okay, Carly, four. Number uh, five. But number five, uh, what is the amount of memory that mod printer uh, come with? Come with, mm-hmm. Mm. Memory era, verdad? Yeah, memory. Mod printer come with a small amount. Uh, Having more than minimum amount of memory. Mm -hmm. Pero ¿cuál es la cantidad? Mm -hmm. One megabyte. Yes, one megabyte. That's that's the quantity. Thank you. That can be expanded. Very nice. Okay. Se quedó un poquito cansado eso. Read it. Okay. But let's move to another. And here we have a listening. Que espero que se escuche bastante bien. Okay. Just give me a second. I am going to prepare this listening. Okay, let's listen two times. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There's nothing as pure as a mother's love for their child. My mother is my role model. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in their womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay, let's listen one more time. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for their child. My mother is my role model. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in their womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay. So let's listen to some of you. I guess this was kind of easy, right? What about if we listen to um, Elizabeth? Do you have one, two words, three words, phrases? Um, 
Then and there is children. Mm -hmm. My mother is my. My my mother always one. E people. Okay, people. Thank you. Okay, we go with Anaris and then Ivania. Mm, ya lo dijo ella lo que yo iba a decir. <laughs> mm, la vieja confiable. Ya lo dijo sí. ella. Okay, nice. Iris, we go with uh, Ivania and Iris. Okay, we go with Iris and Carly. Hello. Hello there. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, mother's speech, reason to humanity, child. Eh, yo creo que era roommate, always are lucky, and her children. Okay, thank you. Very nice. We go with Carly and Marvin. Uh, all people, we have mothers in nine months. Mm -hmm. Nine months. Good. Marvin and then Fabrizio. Okay. And uh, resource assistances and uh, other are strong saints for, for nine months in the world. Okay. Good. Thank you. Okay. We go with Fabrizio and Kathy. Uh, my mother is speech, uh, yeah. child, children, strong, uh, reason, assistance, uh, mother always self. Okay, good. And Kathy and Judith. Okay, Judith, it's your turn. And then Christy. My mother's children are mother. One people. Mm -hmm. Good, really Sorry, good. Hey. Thank you. Christy? Okay. Um, my mother, children, people, Leslie, mother, one. Mm -hmm. Really good. Thank you. Very nice. Okay, we're going to compare uh, what you wrote with the audio and hear the power. Let's listen. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for their child. My mother is my role model. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in their womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Okay, uh, as you can see, there are a lot of common uh, phrases or words. Uh, it is not so difficult, okay? There is not that difficult this power, but it is about mother speech, okay? Let's listen. Uh, well, let's continue now. Um, 28 minutes and we finish. 28 minutes y terminamos. Is the corporal punishment necessary to raise kids at home? Es necesario el castigo corporal para criar a los niños en casa. Cuando decimos raise, es este raise, eh, significa criar, ¿verdad? Eh, cuidarlos, darle seguimiento, estar pendiente de ellos, corregirlos. Well, um, I have seen a lot of comments on Facebook about this matter. And a lot of people say, uh, when we were kids, we have punishment and so on. So there are, pe there are uh, people who, are, who agree and some others who don't, okay? So let's listen to some of you. And this is also related to some attitudes that we can see from these coming generations, okay? So that's why I consider that this question is really interesting. We're going to start in this case with, okay, Carly and then Elizabeth. 
Okay, I believe that sometimes it is necessary because some children are born with a temperament and character that are difficult to control only with words. But I also think that physical punishment should be the last option. Okay, you consider that it is not necessary, that this is the last resort, the last option. Okay, thank you. We go, uh, Ellie, what about you? Negotiate. Negotiate, yes. <laughs> In este momento. I don't necessarily think it's just nothing how to negotiate with corporal punishment. They only be become more rebellious in some case. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you consider that you can negotiate, you can equilibrate or balance some situations, right? But okay. no, the yes. corporal punishment, okay? No. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Let's listen to Marvin and then Fabricio. Okay, Marvin. Okay, teacher. My okay. answer is non necessary, previously to correct and authority so far for the dialogue. And no matter the age. Okay. You consider the dialogue is really important, the communication, okay, to prevent, to, to go or to extend to these extreme cases. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Fabricio, and then we go with Aneris. Um, our parents' generation uses corporal punishment to the yes. chaos. Um, yes. We did not turn out so badly. Today, <laughs> today that is even punishable by the penal law. Mm -hmm. In my case, uh, I remember that I have only used corporal punishment um, junior three times in 17 years. And he, it has been very useful for his life. Oh, wow. So, yes, so, a few times. I'm sorry, Fabricio, your elder son is 17. Yes. Uh, his happy birthday um, past Was Monday. On Monday, right? Yes, I remember. Monday is the week. Yes, well. 17 years. In years, what time do you started being a father, Fabricio? And how three, old were you when you were at that? Uh, three, twenty-seven. Mm, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Nice. Seventeen years. You have experience. Twenty-seven right. years. Good. Mm -hmm. Right. So well, imagine. Muchacho. Well, muchacho. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Because in all those years you use, maybe uh, you went to corporal punishment in just extreme cases, right? When it was really, really extreme. Yes. And that's something that it is like positive in the case of you try a lot of methods, right? So, but well. Yes, any comparison our generation to this one, it's, yes, it's like every generation has mm, a, no. its own characteristics. <laughs> yeah, it's different because of the environment, the technology, a lot of things have uh, influence. Okay, uh, thank you. We go now with Aneris and then Robert. It is not necessary. Okay. But sometimes they do not collaborate and it is inevitable to tap them. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's inevitable, yes. And they have to collaborate with a lot of things that, that could be like a very, very good point. Thank you. Okay, Roberto, and then we go with Patty. Okay. Ahí va mi respuesta controversial. Okay, go on, my friend. It's your opinion, no matter what. 
First for me is corporal punishment is necessary today because that is how the kids are educated from an early age. In addition to that, punishment improves to child's behavior because punishment can ensure discipline on and obedience. Yes, yes, maybe uh, in those cases, they can establish limits, right? And that is something that this generation needs. Maybe not corporal punishment, but maybe that could help to establish uh, some limits, right? Okay, really good, Roberto. Uh, Patty, are you there? If not, we go with Katy. Yeah, aquí Please haciendo la segunda, Roberto. Okay. Of course. Cool. Bravo. <laughs> if it is necessary, not all children have the same do docility. However, it is a very fine line in which you must be very careful and you must not excel the limits and lead to miss treatment since they are very different things yeah very good point i have always said that extremes are like really negative but if you have like a parameter so you can guide very well a, a, a kid right but not to exceed no excederse right okay thank yeah. you but the, we go now with kathy and then it is Okay, uh, not necessary. It can be so bad, be talking of other other types of punishment. In my case, I apply psychological punishment. Okay. I, I take away what he likes the most. Mm -hmm. Okay, very nice, because you take something that it is important for him or for her. So you are pushing him or pushing her to behave well. Entonces tú estás como pues presionando que se comporte bien, right? Good, really nice. So uh, let's listen to Iris, okay? And then we go with Christy. Hello. Hello, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I think no. Parents should get good advice to raise their children in the best way. I don't know much about the stuff. Okay, yes. But you consider that it is not so necessary to go to these extremes, right? Okay. So uh, let's check now. To Christy, are you ready? Okay. It is necessary to be dialogue, uh, dialoguing and corporal punishment not to make it too easy for them because they take stay to equality and to stay grow old. Thinking uh, that things are easy and they become funny because they like easy things. Okay, yeah, sometimes uh, kids are like accustomed to easy things, to so something that is uh, pa parents say yes to everything, and it is not like that. Okay, thank you. We're going to finish to this in just one round. De una sola ronda vamos a terminar con todas las preguntas. Okay, eh, con todas las opiniones. Juan, are you ready? Then we go with Ivania. So let's listen here if Juan is not ready. So let's go with Ivania. And, teacher, teacher, teacher. Yes. Yes, Juan, hello. Uh, me deja el bus, me deja. No, es que si escucho como... Hey, <laughs> in my opinion, no. Um, for but the other methods of punishment. Okay, there are other methods. Very good. 
and maybe our parents or the previous generation didn't use all the methods, just one or two. And, and so that's why we have to change that. Thank you. Okay, Ivania and Judith, I think we finished this uh, question. Okay. There, there are ways to correct or punish kids, for example, limiting them to things they like, or another way is to explain we they action are wrong. Okay, very nice because you establish limits and you say, okay, until here. And maybe you can explain what they are doing good and wrong. Thank you, Ivania. Okay, and Judith. No, because it is a violent way of correcting that affects psychology and is a high behavior that when done constantly, the child can consider to be normal. Mm, yes. That is something negative of using corporal punishment that the kid can may think that that's normal so that kid when he or she grows up uh, he or she is going to continue with that chain that's one possibility and that girl or that boy can continue with corporal punishment with the other kids but it's one uh, one possibility and that's true something that maybe leads to the corporal punishment algo que lleva al castigo corporal it's this the tantrums the tra tantrums son las rabietas los berrinches and that is something really common nowadays uh, you i have seen a lot of tantrums and I guess you too, in the supermarket, in the bank, on the street. And I have seen a lot of parents that they do not know how to control uh, the kids. So that is something that depends on the methods, okay? Depends on the advice, the dialogue, the correction. We have to correct not just pass by, no solo dejarlo pasar. That is something really, really important. Well, thank you. You have given good options and good opinions. Creo que la mayoría de acá son, tienen hijos, ¿verdad? O hijos, la mayoría, ¿verdad? So maybe you have some of the, you have some experience, but if you don't have ex experience in this, okay, that, that that's nice because you are learning, learning a lot, okay? Y los que no tienen, pues, good. Todavía no les ha llegado los de pelos. Ok, pronto, pronto. Puedo verlos en sus rostros. Ok. So, uh, let's see. Here we have this worksheet. Solo nos quedan 14 minutos. But we're going to uh, check this. La diferencia entre say y tell. Eso es bastante importante. Porque say significa decir. Y tell significa contar. Pero no contar de números, no one, two, three, four, sino tell, eh, contar eh, anécdotas, historias, and so on. Okay, eh, Carly, can you help me with the first, please? No creo que terminemos todos los ejercicios ni estas explicaciones, pero vamos a avanzar. You say something. You say something to someone. Mm -hmm. Helen said, eh, I love you to her dad. Mm -hmm. Raj. Says, says uh, he has a new job. I said, said that I was sorry. Okay, really nice. Cuando decimos, Helen said, Helen dijo, que amo a su papá. Okay, Raj says, Raj dice que él tiene un nuevo trabajo, ¿verdad? Yo dije que lo sentía. Okay, so that's a big difference in comparison to tell. Vamos a ver ahorita con tell in this case. Marvin, you tell someone. You tell someone something. I need to hear that she loved him. 
Dolmita, he has a new job. I told Jokita it was sorry. Okay, thank you. Helen told her that Helen le dijo a su papá, esa es la diferencia, que ella lo amaba. En cambio acá dice Helen, eh, dice te amo a su papá. Si se dan cuenta, cuando utilizamos tell, es una manera directa. Es por eso que yo les digo a veces a ustedes, tell me. Tell me your opinions. Cuéntenme. ¿Verdad? También pueden decir tell your opinions. Cuenten sus opiniones. Pero el, normalmente cuando utilizamos el tell, utilizamos otro, eh, otro sujeto, digamos. Helen told her that. Rag told me. I told Yuki. Yo le dije a Yuki que lo sentía. Y tenemos algunas excepciones, ¿ok? So, Judith, can you help me with the exceptions, please? Exception. Exception, tell, plus. Uh, joke. 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 Story. Lie. Lie. And truth. Ok, he told a joke. He told a job, she tells good stories. They told a lie. Lie, a lie. Lie. I always tell the truth. Thank you. Entonces, en esas excepciones, por ejemplo, cuando decimos tell a joke, cuenta un chiste. Tell a story. Cuenta una historia o tell a lie, cuenta una mentira o tell the truth, cuenta la verdad. Here we have also hit ejemplos. He told a joke. Él contó un chiste. Aquí les he dicho que utilizamos tell con alguien que va aquí. ¿ve? Su papá, a mí, a Yuki. O sea que el tell va directamente con alguien. Pero estas son excepciones. Here we have exceptions. Cuando contamos un, una, un chiste, una historia, una mentira o la verdad. Y la otra es, they told a lie. Ellos mintieron, dijeron una mentira. I always tell the truth. Yo siempre digo la verdad. Ok. And let's see the other example that we have here. I'm sorry, I'm lost. Sorry. I don't know what I'm doing here. Ok. Ya solo nueve minutos. And we finished. Ok. Eh, say versus tell, ok, entonces tenemos otros ejemplos, vamos a ver acá, if we can have eh, Fabricio, can you help me with the first um, examples, please, you say something to someone, you say something to someone, Richard says he, he has a new car, Yes. Conexión de internet es inestable. Uh, Mary said, I tied it to his father. Michael said, he was tired. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, and what about if we listen to an Aries? Can you help me, please? You tell someone something. You, you tell someone something. Richard told me ha, he has a new car. Mary told his father I'm hungry. Michael told Richard that he was tired. Okay, excellent. Okay, and here we have the exceptions. Creo que esta imagen está más que explícita. Let's listen to, uh, well, yo la voy a leer. Exception, tell story, joke, lie through, lo que acabamos de leer. Mary, Mary tells nice stories. Mary dice buenas historias. Eh, yo conté un chiste, él dijo una mentira. Ahora, aquí está la clave del éxito. You say something to someone. Tú le dices, eh, digamos, algo a alguien. En cambio, aquí tú di le dices a alguien algo. Aquí está el orden. Richard says, Ricardo dice, ¿qué dice algo? Que él tiene un nuevo carro. Aquí se lo dice a muchas personas, pero aquí dice, Mary said, Mary, Mary dijo, estoy cansada. O sea, dijo algo, está cansada. ¿A quién se lo dijo? Al someone, a su papá. El tell es que tú le cuentas a alguien algo. Por ejemplo, 
Uh, Richard told me he has a new car. Richard me dijo. ¿Quién es el someone aquí? A mí. Me dijo a mí. ¿Y qué le dijo? He has a new car. Que tiene un nuevo carro. O oh, la siguiente. Mary told his father. Mary le dijo a quién? A su papá. ¿Qué le dijo? Algo. ¿Qué es ese algo? I am hungry. ¿Ok? I don't know if you have questions with this. Solo vamos a hacer como tres ejercicios de esto porque ya se nos está acabando el tiempo. Ok. Con la práctica lo vamos a ver en este caso. And here we have this. Solo tres quizás vamos a hacer de acá. Ok. And what about if we listen to Patty? You have yours. Uh, did he say you? Podría ser de las dos. Si dice say, pero principalmente cuando le contas a alguien, ¿verdad? Contar. Sería tell you. Acuérdense que el no. tell va a ir con la persona, con un con, personal pronoun, ¿verdad? Y en este caso, you. Ok, thank you. We go now with... Um, what if we listen to Ivania? Ok, number two. Number two. Uh, can, can you tell me where the post office Please. Yes, thank you. Okay. And the last one we go with Carly. And Number Judy. five. Mm -hmm. how, how can you tell that? Aquí, como no, les, como no le estás diciendo a alguien directamente, vamos a utilizar el... Say. Say. ¿Verdad? Aquí el tell me, tell you. How can you say ah, that? Okay. ¿Cómo puedes decir eso? Uh -huh. Good. Thank okay. you, Carly. You did? <laughs> ¿Todo bien? Everything okay? Hello. Es que en el 2, esto, usted decía que debía ir acompañado de... ¿De qué? <laughs> de, 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 un, de otro sujeto. Uh -huh. De un sujeto. En, entonces, en la oración 2, el sujeto es... Me. Mm, vaya, el sujeto es you, pero diferente tipo. Es, es, se llama object pronoun, que es donde recae la acción. You es el sujeto principal, pero can you tell me? El tell me siempre va a ir juntos. No vas a decir say me, ¿verdad? O puedes okay. decirlo, say to me, ¿verdad? Pero normalmente es, es a menos que sea una cuestión poética. O literaria, same, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, normalmente es tell me, tell me. Como en todas las canciones, hay una que se llama tell me why. En la mayoría de canciones dice eso, dime por qué, cuéntame por qué. ¿Ok, Judith? Ok. Mm -hmm. ¿Y tu oración? Uh, number three. Ok. What did he... Como no say. va directo, ajá, say. Porque no... Yes, what did he say to you? Pero si no estuviera el mm -hmm. to, sería tell. What did mm -hmm. he tell you? Mm -hmm. Esta es la clave, pero vamos a seguir mañana, ¿ok? Eh, antes de pasar lista, recuerden, ¿verdad? La eh, encuesta de satisfacción la vamos a hacer el día viernes. No la hagan antes, please, please. La vamos a hacer todos juntos. ¿Verdad? Porque si no me llaman la atención y también le llaman la atención a ustedes y nadie va a ser feliz. Ok, thank you. I'm going to check the attendance list, say hi, hello, goodbye. Y se me queda ahora a Neris, please. Ok. Y let's say Elizabeth, hi. We have Iris. Hi, hi, teacher. Ok, Eli, ok. ¿Cuánto poder? Hi. Es que ya se iban a pasar y no, ya no me iba a tocar a mí mi turno. Lo siento. Ok, no, ya la, nadie te lo gana. Ok, thank you. Eh, we go with Iris. Hello, Ellen. Thank you. 
Juan. Good night, teacher. Bye bye, Judith. Goodbye. Goodbye, Carly. Goodbye. Teacher. Yeah. Bye. Kathy. Bye. Bye. Marvin. Good night. Good night, Fabricio. Patty. Good night. Good night. Roberto. Good night, teacher. Christy. Goodbye. William. No, right. Good night, teacher. Good night, Good night, Jocelyn. Bye bye. And Aneris. Okay. See you tomorrow, my friend. Solo dos días. Bye bye. I see you tomorrow. Bye. Okay, Aneris. Hello. Okay, see you. Bye bye, Fabricio. Teacher, 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 antes de que algo pase. Dime, Roberto. Yes. Este, fíjese que yo mañana, como trabajo en publicidad, mañana tengo un evento. Este, okay. No sé si me voy a poder conectar. Ok. Pero igual, eh, este, voy a hacer estoy... lo posible, por lo menos para escuchar la clase. El Roberto, estoy viendo que no ha faltado ninguna clase, creo. ¿No? No, ha no. Est ha estado muy, muy, muy. Eh, recuerda que, digamos, lo que nos piden es el 80%. Hasta ahorita tú uh -huh. llevas el 100%. Uh -huh. Vas bien. Entonces, uh -huh. este, yo no estoy autorizado para dar permisos, lastimosamente. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Pero, este, si te puedes conectar como oyente, por lo menos, ¿verdad? Pero, como sí, te sí, repito, sí. llevas buen récord de asistencia. Bastante bien. Entonces, solo faltan dos clases, ¿verdad? Si no, pero solo uh -huh. me, me escribes. Si vas a estar doyente, ¿ok? Va, ok, teacher. Excelente. Bye, bye. Gracias, good night. Night. Ok, Aneris. Hello there. Hola. ¿Cómo estamos? Bien. Ok. Um, better, right? Mejor, ¿verdad? Definitely. Sí. Ok. Eh, con respecto a las clases... Eh, ¿Hay algún tema que posiblemente lo tengas como con dudas, preguntas, algunas dificultades? La verdad es que he faltado varios, entonces estoy un poco estoy descontinuada. Y okay. no sería mentir que he repasado o he visto los videos para que mentir. Ok. Entonces, bueno, vamos a ver algunos. Por ejemplo, lo del Wood. ¿Tienen dificultades con Wood? La verdad es que a mí todo se me dificulta. O sea, aquí en la clase es muy distinto a, a, a realmente ponerlo a la práctica. Eh, ¿Verdad? Este... Lo que... Dime, dime. O sea, aquí realmente hacemos lo que usted nos, nos indica. ¿Verdad? Por ejemplo, las preguntas que hace, las actividades que deja, pero que realmente lo practique yo o repase extra, es mentira, no lo hago. Se te hace difícil, sí. Entonces, ah. sí, se me hace difícil. Un poco. Vaya, eh, pero con respecto a los temas que hemos visto y todo esto, este, lo consideras así como, eso es lo que queremos ver, porque tú, tienes este fluidez, ¿verdad? Porque, bueno, según veo, te gusta el, el ¿cómo se llama? El, el inglés, right Sí, lo que hago yo es que, no es que repase, así que realmente me vaya a poner a repasar, pero a veces escucho este qué canciones o a veces escucho, por ejemplo, este de Wood, a veces veo videos de cómo utilizar, o sea, cuando usted deja algo, yo lo que hago es ver o solamente en el bus ir escuchando, o cuando en hora de almuerzo así, pero no es que realmente le dedique así tiempito para poder sí, comprender. Me imagino que, que tú pasas un poquito pues, ocupada, ¿verdad? Bastante con tus bien, obligaciones. Bien, bien. Sí, porque me levanto a las cuatro, cuatro y media, preparo a la niña. De ahí me voy porque trabajo lejos hasta Santa Elena y vivo aquí por la tiendona. Entonces, sí, casi dos horas sí. de calle. 
igual sí. salgo a las seis y aquí ya vengo ya tarde y tareas de la niña y así, bien, bien saturado. Y te toca saturado. Y, sí, más hoy esta semana porque ayer tuve la, la audiencia de divorcio. Sí, me, me, me comentaste. Ah, caso. está un poquito complicada en eso, pero al menos ese tema ya, <ríe> ya lo salvé. Ok, Anaris, entonces lo que te puedo decir, creo que has tenido una semana bien saturada en, por diversos aspectos, ¿verdad? Lo que sí te puedo decir es que eh, pues es una oportunidad para no dejarla pasar, ¿verdad? Porque eh, las clases de inglés son un tanto, tiene un costo, ¿verdad? Y este, tú lo que sí considero que te hace falta es la, el tema gramatical. Porque en fluidez y todo lo maneja súper bien. Con te, a, las preguntas y todas las opiniones las das, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, si ¿sí has pensado continuar lo, los otros módulos. Sí, sí. Mira, es que en realidad sí me gusta. A mí me gusta cómo está la clase, la verdad. A mí sí me gusta. Ya lo demás ya es este, algo personal, ¿verdad? Que no, claro. Que poner más, más, este, más disciplina, digámoslo así. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Porque esto es de disciplina, ¿verdad? Nada más la verdad que, que sí, eh, por lo menos con la cuestión. Todo? Sí, mira, uh -huh. Anaris, yo creo que es lo que tú te hace falta un poquito es lo del grammar y el listening, ya, creo que está bastante bien, ¿verdad? Entonces, solo animarte pues a seguir y este no vayas a faltar ni mañana ni pasado, ¿ok? No, 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 no. No, y cómo las partes. actividades, porque no, no las he y Esa es otra cosa. Eh, este, me parece que hay unas evaluaciones que te hacen falta. El final no lo has hecho todavía, ¿verdad? No, pero este, mañana lo voy a hacer. Hoy, okay, no, sí. mañana sí, para ponerme al día. Y, y sí, sí, voy a seguir, <ríe> voy a continuar. Excelente, no me sí, <ríe> que tienes, tienes una gran fluidez, la verdad. Entonces, en ti hay mucha habilidad por explotar más todavía. Bueno, muchas okay. gracias. Así que no, ánimo, ¿verdad? Este, nos vemos mañana entonces, ¿ok? No problem. Y termina, sí, la, la, toda la, 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 los ejercicios de las unidades, ¿ok? Los ejercicios de las unidades, este, el midterm, si ¿sí lo hiciste. Eh, sí. Sí. Pero la primera y la segunda, creo que he hecho los dos ejercicios. Y el examen, porque hay un examen por cada actividad, ¿verdad? Sí, no, es. no, no, hay un, solo hay dos exámenes, a medio curso y al final, o sea, después de las primeras dos semanas. Uh -huh. Ese sí lo hice. Vaya, y las primeras dos unidades sí las hiciste, ¿verdad? Sí, si no, sí. vaya, si no, yo voy a revisar también, ¿ok? Voy uh -huh. a revisar cualquier cosa, me recuerdas, déjame ver, sí, mañana antes de la clase, si puedes, me recuerdas, para uh -huh. darle una, una, una chequeada, ¿ok? Igual mañana yo, yo me pongo el día en la hora de almuerzo. Excelente, Ana. Un poquito de sacrificio. Bien. Ya casi salimos de vacas. Ok. Sí. Excelente. Thank Te you. Bye, bye. Good night.